And then the second ne step is to uh, create the charge cloud density um, using a DOS simulation. So anyway, this is the folder I used to run the simulation. Let's say this, I mean, let's just open one of these simulations. So this is the DOS simulation. So so basically a kind of Talleyrand um, um, substrate we define anode and cathode and also uh, define the transient simulation parameters anyway you can take a look look at let's let's say we want to simulate to until 200 feet feet a second and then um, the voltage is very low because I, 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 I assign this we can assign this voltage because we just want to get the charge cloud density so we don't need to run with very high voltage and then and this is the substrate substrate density we use a very uh, low value so this p tab actually uh, 10 to to the tens of uh, per cubic uh, centimeters so it's very low and then and then the generation so this is where we import the okay the import the uh, charge generation rate. So here, you can browse and find the um, the uh, optical generation rate, which is um, obtained by the Mat MATLAB simulation, MATLAB code. After we we import it, we just load, and then we run the simulation. So after the simulation, we define a charge monitor basically to calculate the charge density distribution within the whole device. So you can see, I mean, it may take a few minutes, but, but this is the result. So because I put the charge cloud on the right hand side, so you can see this is, uh, this is the distribution. So it's pretty high on this side, on the right side, but the mesh is not that good actually. So this is the electron density distribution. So it's roughly, um, oh shit. I don't know what happens, but anyway, um, this is a process to obtain the uh, charge density distribution within the device. Let me see. So, yeah, I don't know how it goes, but, but there is suddenly something wrong with my connection. So anyway, um, this is a process that we can get the charge cloud density distribution within the device. So next step is to run FTDT simulations.